Inside here, I have a PC that you can't build for yourself at home because Intel sponsored this video for us to take a look at Main Gear's NG1 Shroud Edition PC. And Main Gear does something pretty remarkable when it comes to giving you a pre-built PC that we get to check out here live for the first time. So I'm excited to see what we have put together. This is going to be a robust system and stay tuned to watch the rest of the video. Find out how you can win one yourself. So it's been a long time since I've purchased a pre-built PC, but I've been reassured that the Main Gear MG1 has a lot of things that I'm going to want to pay attention to. Namely, the fact that it is perfectly customizable to how you want your PC to look, specifically on the front panel. And the Shroud Edition uh, pays a little bit of homage to Shroud, who actually has... Uh, we have a storied history with Shroud on this channel. Reese, the camera guy right, right now, might remember that uh, we built a PC replicated after Shroud's computer back when he was still on an Intel 9th gen. I think it was a 9900K that we had to import to South Africa in order to be able to make that video. Remember that? So before we actually take the PC out of the box and look at it, I want to show you some of these accessories that we got right here. It is a different faceplate that you can get for your main gear system. This is the alternative version for the Shroud faceplate that is currently on the PC. You can see, based Toronto, Ontario since. You want to convert that for me in post, Catlin? So the Shroud edition obviously has some incredibly fast components in it we're on the i9 13900k 13th gen processor with 24 cores 32 threads additionally it has an rtx 4090 graphics card in here as well as a bits power rgb aio liquid cooler and we also get a second faceplate that we can take a look at Ooh, this is the artist series for intel i I love this. Oh my god. It's like a little, what would you call this? Cyberpunk city? But in terms of a PC with like a heatsink fan and everything and the RAM in the background, I love this. But now let's take a look at how this PC looks right out of the box. I mean, gentle. It's got a big old computer in here. And here we have the actual shrouded edition with the front panel right here. It does have some tape adhering it so that it stays in there during shipping. But in case you actually don't want to have, you know, the shroud edition, you want to have your own, Main Gear actually has it so that you can customize your own artwork on their website just from uploading whatever you have. Additionally, a little fun fact to make it even easier for you to figure out how it's going to look, they have an AR preview where you can check out how it's going to look in your desk setup. We're going to swap on over to the Artist Series. I like the vibrancy of that one. I do also like the alternative shroud one. This one's more peaceful and calm. This one's just shroud. But you can see you even have the contact pins on this right here to probably just illuminate it for RGB. But they also have color-coded power and reset buttons right up here to make it so that you are looking like you're part of the Shroud Edition team. So Main Gear has a robust PC building menu where not only can you customize the faceplate of the MG1, but you can also customize the parts to your desired price point, as well as, you know, gaming needs that you have at home. But each PC is hand built by a team of experts and looks like it's actually really well packaged for shipping. And honestly, I think the faceplate is just such a good way to customize whatever PC that you want to build at home for yourself. But Main Gear does the research to make sure that whatever parts they're putting in your system are of the highest quality possible. Because looking at some system integrators, they tend to potentially sometimes, you know, cheap out on certain components in order to save a quick buck. But Main Gear doesn't cut corners to provide you with the best gaming experience that you could possibly have. Additionally, the thing that I'm second most excited for besides this faceplate zero bloatware. They don't install any software that you don't need. We're going to verify that as soon as we boot this system up. But here it is, the 13900K RTX 4090 gaming PC with a Bits Power RGB 360 millimeter AIO liquid cooler on the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero with 32 gigs of T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 6000 megahertz, a two terabyte Solodyne P44 M.2 SSD, and underneath an EVGA 1000 watt 80 plus platinum power supply. And if you want to win one of these MG1 systems yourself, Main Gear is going to be giving away an MG1 Legendary while the one we have is the MG1 
Ultimate, which you can check out the link in the video description. It's part of Intel's Gamer Days here at the end of summer right now in order to celebrate you guys as gamers. Intel and Main Gear are trying to give one of these PCs away. Not this specific one, but a similarly specced version. So I really love the build of this overall. Everything's plugged in correctly. You even have a nice cable managed little power squid coming off of the RTX 4090. Additionally, all of the power cables seem to be firmly plugged in, which is a good thing when you're buying a pre-built that's been shipped across the country. Honestly, this is a very sleek looking system. It does seem like they put in the effort in order to manage all of the cables. You see this fan hub back here with included RGB hub as well. All of this just looks pristinely wired like they actually do have a team of experts who are actually building this PHC for you. So I'm excited to power this up for the first time and see what it looks like and how it performs. So in the rest of the accessories that main gear included. You have the rest of the power cables. You also have some SATA cables. It looks like all of these are motherboard accessories that came with the motherboard that's included, including a little driver USB, as well as the ROG Hyperion M.2 card, which is for hooking up PCI Express 5.0 SSDs. You can get two of them in here and it's properly cooled. And we can install that to get blisteringly fast storage because not only does the Z790 platform support DDR5, it also supports PCI Express 5. So that way we could have both the fastest RAM possible, but also the fastest storage possible. We have a Wi-Fi adapter, which we're gonna need, included power cable, RGB controller, a main gear Windows recovery USB that you you can use to make sure your your windows is recovered if you need that and a little sticker a little main gear sticker now let's give it the first power on to see what she looks like that's a lot of rgb spun up on the very first boot which means the power supply was switched on as well as they plugged everything in correctly for the io headers Ooh, okay so the ram's still going to be controlled via software as well as the motherboard but all of the rgb that's in the system is easily controlled with a singular remote. In case you don't wanna have this rainbow goodness that's going on, looks like we can switch to a single color if we choose to. Oh, and there we also have, yes, the RGB plate right on front here with the Artist Series. You see, as soon as we take it off, you lose all of that light, but as soon as we connect it back on, it also has a little underglow underneath. I'm gonna give the shroud one a chance to be turned on. Let's go ahead and just see. This is so easy to just customize it whatever way you want. And for all of the connectivity that you could possibly want, especially with the Z790 board, tons of USB ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, as well as 10 gig USB-C right here, Wi-Fi 6E included on that Z790, and then all of the I.O. that you need for that RTX 4090. So that's enough of checking it out. I'm gonna get this hooked up to a gaming monitor and we can see, number one, just how free of bloatware this thing is and also how this hardware performs. All right, we're ready to check this out. Obviously fresh Windows install. Let's take a look at the promises of no bloatware. Check out the installed apps. Asus Aura Lighting, that makes a lot of sense because that's part of the motherboard, that's all pre-installed. Microsoft stuff, which just comes with regular Windows installation. Nvidia graphics already pre-installed and one of the latest revisions, 536.99, that's, that's fresh. That's not even a week old. It looks like Microsoft stuff, RGB software, which is necessary for the controls, and then NVIDIA drivers. That is, that is very limited when it comes to how much bloatware. So just even booting this up, we've got 13900K, 24 cores, 32 threads, all visible right here. The 32 gigabytes of DDR5 is clocked at 6,000 megahertz from the get-go, so they clearly set everything in the BIOS. We have the two terabyte Solodime SSD as well as the 4090 all cranked and ready to go. So now let's go ahead and hit the CPU. I wanna see what it looks like if we run something like a Cinebench R23 benchmark. Hit it on the multi-thread, getting those 32 threads up and running. And that is that is just ripping through the benchmark. Taking a look, yeah, that CPU's pegged at 100%. Now we just gotta let it run. So our Cinebench R23 score is 31,885. It absolutely shredded through that benchmark. And it did so really quietly. This 360 millimeter liquid cooler that's in here is keeping the temps down. Honestly, the, the way Main Gear has kitted this out, this Shroud Edition PC, 
it looks good and can be perfectly customizable to whatever aesthetic design that you want to do. And you can also, again, preview it with their AR setup. It was ready to go out of the box. All I had to do was enter my details to get Windows set up. But I also noticed they appear to have 3D printed the actual GPU support bracket for the 4090. So you can see right here, there's an attachment right here, and that appears to be screwed into the side of the 4090. But if you come around back, you can see the plastic piece right there that appears to be screwed into the motherboard standoff or the case somewhere to make it so that the GPU doesn't go anywhere. What a brilliant solution, very simple and cost effective to make it so that you're protecting your PC in shipping. The MG1 Ultimate by Main Gear honestly checks all of the boxes for me. The fastest performance has a lot of customizability. It's in a more compact form factor. You're getting the highest end hardware that you could possibly kit out in this while making effective use of all of this space. And as we mentioned, Main Gear is currently giving one away for Intel's Gamer Days. So you can check out the link in the video description for that or go pick up yourself one of these MG1 Shroud Editions. You don't have to get it with a 13900K. In a 4090, you can go with something that's a bit more wallet friendly, but in case you want to go all out, that's also available for you. So big thanks again to Intel for sponsoring this look at the Main Gear MG1 PC. We may have our own plans for how we're going to handle this PC, potentially with our own giveaway, but you'll have to stay tuned to more UFD Tech videos to find out more about that.